we have our first guest. He's from Artisans World Gallery. Please welcome from Arlington, Massachusetts, Carrie Dadampre. <laughs> Carrie, welcome. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Now, you are Haitian. Yeah. And what you do is you collect Haitian art. Yeah. And from other islands too, correct? Uh, mostly Haiti. Mostly Haiti. Uh -huh. And uh, you have a virtual gallery so people can go online can and go see online the art see pieces. Yeah. And you also are able to take these pieces and, and have shows to uh, promote the art, correct? That's correct. Now, uh, right now you have a show about uh, Haitian birds. Uh -huh. It's called uh, The Vanishing Birds of Haiti. Mm -hmm. And I'll explain why. Yeah, uh, why, we, why are they vanishing? Uh, well, we having a lot of problem with uh, deforestation. People are cutting a lot of trees. And then those birds are probably not coming to this part of the island, mm -hmm. or maybe are in extent. Mm -hmm. So I find an artist, I met with the artist uh, through a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and he's been painting those birds for many years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he was able to send 58 pieces to me in Boston. And then now those pieces are displayed at the Cambridge Multicultural Arts Center in East Cambridge. Okay, so the Cambridge Multicultural Art Center mm -hmm. in East Cambridge, you can see these paintings. Now I'm going to ask my uh, stage manager here tonight, Adam, to hand me, we have some of the paintings you brought for us. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, if he can hand them to you, that would be great. Yeah. This is uh, some birds here. Yeah, so that's uh, one of Hold them. Hold them right this see. way, right next to yourself. There you go. Okay. This so, camera will get it. Uh, right here, you can, you can see how accurate uh, the artist is. Mm -hmm. And he knows about all those birds. Um, is also make a research to find out their name in Creole, their name in English, and in Latin. Mm -hmm. So when you go to the show at, uh, the, gallery, at uh, the Cambridge Multicultural Art Center, you will see a painting mm -hmm. and then with all those three names, okay, in English, Latin, and Creole. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you actually get the paintings here from Haiti? It wasn't easy, but I was lucky. Mm -hmm. um, I have a friend of mine who lives in Cambridge, and uh, he knows the artist very well. He was the one, he's been traveling since the earthquake, he's been traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. So anytime he comes, he brings a few pieces. Now, since the earthquake, has it been difficult to get art? Because there's a lot it's going been, on down there. There's yeah, a lot of aid yeah, going yeah. down there. Uh, I mean, I've, I've been really lucky mm -hmm. to, to get them. Because mm -hmm. I had the show, I, I signed a contract to have the show before the earthquake happened. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I only have like maybe 20 pieces. Mm -hmm. I said, gee, you know, it's, it's a big gallery. It won't be enough to have to a whole it, yeah. show. Yeah. But I was lucky. My friend's been able to go, and his wife also, they travel back and forth uh, from Haiti to, to Cambridge and mm -hmm. then bring those pieces. So they're getting it for you. They're helping you out. Yeah. We have some more pieces here. Yeah. Help us out, Adam. <clears throat> We're going to switch off now. So, yeah. Actually, that's, a, that's another one. Uh, I didn't display this one because the other the other one that's in display they are more Let me take that one for you. They're more um, more accurate. It's even prettier. You know, it's almost like a picture mm -hmm. of the birds. So this is a bird that you can find in Haiti. You can find in in Haiti. It's like a peacock, isn't it? What is it? I let me see. Most of the time you write the. Oh, he wrote in, in the, the back. back. Let yeah. me see here. So uh, purple gallinul. That's what it yeah. is. Purple gallinul. Yeah. So the deforestation, is that what you called it? Deforestation. Right. Uh -huh. Deforestation. Uh -huh. i got to get that right. <laughs> okay, I didn't go to college. You caught me. Right. Deforestation. Uh, so basically, you, you said some of these birds, are, they could be extinct because of this. Well, if, we, if that's something, we don't, if we don't make an effort with that, mm -hmm. they're either not going to come to this part of the island, or if they don't find any trees, yep. they're going to be in the extent. Yeah. And, uh, and I do understand the reason why people are cutting trees in Haiti because uh, the trees are served for a lot of purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, they do arts with it, they build a house with it, and they even make charcoal out of the woods to cook their food. Hmm. It's, it's, very, it's very important for them. But again, you know, after many years of repeating the same thing, cutting trees for this kind of purpose, we're also making a very big impact in the a big um, ecological impact, mm -hmm. if you want. That's great then. So these artists mm -hmm. are actually helping out by yeah. showing you the awareness of what's, you know, that's, these are the birds and they is, could be extinct. Yes, that's exactly what Let me what ask you doing. now, if someone wants to see your virtual gallery, where do they go online? Uh, they can go on uh, artisansworldgallery.biz. Mm -hmm. .biz. Well, so www.artisansworldgallery.biz. Biz. All in one word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, listen, Carrie, thanks for coming down, buddy. We it's appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, don't lose your painting there. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Carrie, dead on prey. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs>